Welcome to the PFA Network, a national network of patients and family members serving in the role of advisor, sharing their lived experiences to influence healthcare. The purpose of the PFA Network is to create a community of peers connecting to share knowledge and experiences through monthly virtual meetings in an online community, to build skills and effectiveness through multiple training opportunities, and to participate in the national patient family engagement movement by partnering on a variety of engagement opportunities. The vision for the PFA Network is to facilitate a community of highly engaged patient and family advisors that grows each of its members' competencies in partnering to co-design effective healthcare systems, processes, and policies across the country. PSCC Partners is the organization that fully supports the PFA Network. PFCC Partners recognizes that the quality of healthcare outcomes is improved when the expertise of the healthcare provider is partnered with the experience of the patient and family. From the bedside to boardroom, patient and family-centered care is about partnering to design policies, programs, and individual care plans for the best possible outcomes. The team at PFCC Partners is always available to answer any questions you may have about the PFA network. The PFCC Partners team are also all involved in patient family advisor efforts locally and nationally. Libby Hoy is the founder and CEO of PFCC Partners who hosts most of the PFA network virtual meetings. She also serves in the role of advisor and partners with a variety of organizations all across the country, using her lived experience to influence and inform healthcare improvement. Stephen Hoy is the Chief Operating Officer at PFCC Partners. He also partners with the National Quality Forum, American Institute for Research, and his local hospital, all in the role of advisor. Lindsay Galley is the Director of Education. She facilitates most of the trainings and other skill building opportunities that are open to PFA Network members. Lindsay is also an advisor at her local medical foundation. Laura Jackson is the PFCC Partners Office Administrator who facilitates the work group and a lot of the other functions of the PFA Network. Finally, Kelsey Skelly is the Social Media Intern at PFCC Partners. There are a variety of ways to get involved in the PFA network, the first being the virtual meetings. These are an opportunity for PFCC partner staff to share PFA network community news and share any upcoming trainings and engagement opportunities. It's also a great opportunity for PFA network members to share their work and ask questions of the community. The meetings are held on the second Wednesday of each month at noon Pacific time, so we hope to see you there. If you are unable to attend the actual meeting, a summary of each meeting is included in our monthly PFA newsletter. The newsletter is a really great way to keep up with what is going on in the network, including upcoming educational sessions and engagement opportunities that are open to members. Another great way to get involved and stay connected is the online community. As a PFA Network member, you can share and learn from other advisors across the country on our online collaborative platform called Yammer. Yammer is a private social networking site where participants can share projects that they have been involved in, seek best practices from experienced advisors, and promote other engagement opportunities. Advisors receive an invitation to join Yammer once they complete the membership survey. For a quick tutorial on using Yammer, you can head to the PFA Network website at www.pfanetwork.org. PFA Network members are also provided the opportunity to join multiple skills development programs throughout the year at no cost. Members can build their skills as advisors, develop a deeper understanding of quality improvement, learn how to partner on measure development projects, and much more. The PFA Network also connects its members to the projects and people in healthcare who seek to engage experienced advisors in a variety of ways. Sometimes requests come in for speakers, sometimes to participate in research teams, and a variety of other opportunities. 
We use the information you provided in the membership survey to match your interests to the requests that are most relevant to your experiences. Remember to get involved in any of the growing number of projects that look to engage patients and family members. The PFA network also hosts a few work groups. Work group topics are actually identified by PFA network members. Um, those priority areas for the PFA network to really have a voice and influence in future direction and impact on patients and families. Those topics may be identified by conversations on PFA network virtual meetings or the Yammer community. Work groups meet monthly for up to a year and can present a variety of deliverables from a white paper to podcasts or other creative ideas. A few of the current work groups are one, the National Health Information Technology Patient Family Advisory Council. The National HIT PFAC is a diverse group of patient family advisors committed to improving the ability of technology to support the patient physician relationship. In partnership with Open Notes, we aim to identify opportunities to inform the development of electronic health record systems, patient portal development, and implementation messaging to patient populations. The next work group is the Compensation Work Group, which is made up of PFA Network members and is guided by the commitment to increase the diversity of the patients and families that share their lived experiences to serve in the role of patient family advisor. The work group aims to develop a call to action that leaves space for anyone with a passion to become an advisor who may not always have the resources to participate. Finally, this work group believes in the need to also acknowledge the important contributions that advisors have made to improving healthcare systems. That is a quick orientation to the PFA network. Um, I hope that it was really helpful to you and I would love to thank you for joining the PFA network by completing that membership survey. Please remember to reach out to any of the PFCC partners team with any questions or comments that you may have. And we look forward to connecting with you in the future on a virtual meeting or on Yammer. See you soon.